Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy, a math tutor from London. Today I'm going to teach you some math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate density. So density is simple, it's just two numbers you need to find out. Density is your mass divided by your volume. Now while that looks simple enough, actually to find your mass and to find your volume is slightly difficult especially if the object you're looking for is irregular. Now what you do, to find mass, mass is a universal thing, it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're here or on the moon, your mass will be the same. So let's say we're trying to find my density, for instance. Now my mass, mass is always measured in kilograms, so my, men, my density, let's say, now I'm not a regular object, so it's slightly difficult to find my volume, but I know that my mass, if I jump on a pair of scales or I measure any weight, that's about roughly 75 kilograms, always measured in kilograms. So my mass is roughly that. Now if you're looking for an object, let's say an orange, to weigh this, you just put it on some scales, and it'll tell you how many kilograms. Now you always take the kilograms, not grams, not anything else but kilograms. So an orange is say, let's say half a kilogram or so. Now we're talking about me, so my density is 75 kilograms. Now what about my volume? Now to find my volume isn't that easy. Um, the best way I could do it is I could jump in a bath, I could fill a bath right to the top, jump in the bath, and calculate how much water I move out of the bath. So if I move all that water out, that's my volume. Now I have no idea what my volume is because I've never done this, but let's say for instance my volume is 100. 100 meters cubed. Volume is measured, let's say 10, I'm not that big. 10, 100 or 10 meters cubed. That is, meters cubed is a measure of your volume. So it's a bit, if this was a square, you would take this length, this length, and this length, multiply them together to give your volume. Now let's say my volume is 10 meters cubed, and then my density, is 7.5, 75 divided by 10 kilograms per meters cubed. That's how you write that. Kgm to the minus three. Now, if you're trying to find a volume of something slightly more regular, let's say a, a cube or a cuboid, that's, that's easy. You just multiply the three sides together. Or a cuboid. Again, you multiply this length by this length by this length, and that will give you your, your volume. Or finally, if you had something like a prism, a prism is something where no matter where you cut across it, it always looks the same. So a triangular prism always looks, if you cut across the prism, if you cut across there, it looks like a triangle. Then you multiply the area of this face and multiply by the length, and that would give you the volume. So. Calculating the volume is the most difficult part. Calculating the mass is easy. You put it on some scales and you figure out the kilograms. And then the difficult part is f finding volume. So there's always, the, the way to do it is to jump in a bath and measure the amount of water that comes out of the bath. And you, you then take your mass, you divide it by your volume and that will give you your density. Now density is always measured in kilograms per meters cubed. That's kilograms per meter cubed. And that's how to calculate density.